Sweet, you're getting ready to launch your Shopify store. Congrats. But what do you do about shipping costs for your different products, especially if you have different products that are different sizes and weights? Well, you're in luck because I have got you covered and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your shipping prices so that you don't lose money. For this video example, let's say you have a Shopify store that sells coffee cups, posters, and t-shirts. They are all different sizes and weights, obviously. So you would need different shipping containers for each one, which changes the price. Plus, hopefully you are using product cross-sells and upsells on your site to increase your order value. So this means that customers would hopefully be purchasing multiple products from you. So you may be needing to ship them a coffee cup and a t-shirt in the same order. Okay, now that you understand the problem with shipping, let's talk about the solution and how to set it up in your store. It's so important to set it up correctly so you aren't undercharging the customer for shipping and then you're having to pay it out of pocket, but you also don't want to overcharge them so that whenever they hit the checkout page and they see your shipping costs, they just leave. Okay, so the first step is choosing how you want to charge for shipping. Meaning, do you want to do free shipping and increase your prices to include it in the overall cost? Charge the exact shipping cost by enabling carrier calculated shipping? Or do flat rate shipping based on order weight ranges, order price, or shipping destination? There are pros and cons for each of the different shipping methods, so really quickly, here are my suggestions for each one. I would recommend free shipping and increasing the price slightly to cover cost if you have a light product that has cheaper shipping like $7 and under, if a lot of your competitors are offering free shipping, or if you're doing it as a special promotion like around the holidays. I also really love to do free shipping only over a certain card amount like free shipping for orders over $50 because it incentivizes your customers to spend just a little bit more and you cover the cost by increasing your average order cart value. For exact shipping costs with carrier calculated shipping, I recommend this if you are just starting out and aren't sure yet what your typical shipping costs will be, or if you have a lot of different products with different weights and the shipping costs would be very different. Lastly, with flat rate shipping, I recommend if you have a better understanding of your overall shipping cost, if you have smaller products with overall lower shipping costs, or if you have a lot of similar products on your store that will have roughly the same weights and package sizes. Once you've decided on your shipping strategy, you then need to set up your different shipping profiles inside of Shopify. To do this, go to your Shopify backend and under settings, then shipping and delivery. And under the shipping section at the top, you will see general shipping rates. Click manage rates, then scroll past your list of products to the shipping to field and click add rate. If you've chosen to do free shipping or flat rate shipping, you will choose to set up your own rates. To set up your own rates, you will name it, add the price, and then click add conditions to specify any additional conditions based on item weight or price. You can use this functionality to create ranges like zero to two pounds is $5 flat rate shipping, then click done, and then click to add in another rate of 2.1 to five pounds is $10 flat rate shipping. To set up free shipping, you can simply just leave the price as zero and also add in additional conditions like a minimum price of $50 to get the free shipping. If you've decided to do carrier calculated shipping, then you choose the option use carrier or app to calculate rates, then select your provider from the drop down list. Once you have your provider selected, you will see the services that they have and you can select the ones that you want and add in additional handling fee by percentage or flat amount to cover your additional costs like the package itself. You can add in the different rates that you want, then add in the additional shipping zones for other countries by clicking create shipping zone, selecting your country from the list and going through the same process of setting up your rates. Okay, so now let's go back to our example store selling products of coffee mugs, posters, and t-shirts. Let's say for this example, we are doing flat rate shipping and we have the shipping set as $5 for the mugs, $7 for the posters, and $3 for the t-shirts. We can set the rates for these individually by creating a different shipping profile for these products. To do that, go back to your shipping area in the back end of Shopify and in the shipping area under custom shipping rates, click the link, create new profile. 
We can then name it something like heavy shipping and then add in our coffee mug product to it. Then you'll create a shipping zone for it with the flat rate price of $5, just like how we did before for our main default shipping settings. You can repeat this process as much as you want for all of your different types of products. So for our example, I would also repeat the steps to create a shipping profile for tube shipping to ship our posters in so that they don't get creased. I would then leave the t-shirts in the default shipping profile so that we have three separate rates. And just as a side note here that if you add products to your custom shipping profile, they are then removed from the default one because you can only have the product be in one profile at a time. Step number three is to set up your different package types. Also, just as a disclaimer here, this is only available for Shopify stores currently in the United States and Canada. If you are not in these two countries, then you can only add one preferred package type. So sorry guys, it's important to set up your different packages though, so that you'll be able to ship items out of inside the back end of Shopify, because doing this helps calculate the different shipping costs based on the box size, as well as your order weight. Also, when you're fulfilling an order inside of Shopify, you can then choose which package you're shipping out of to correctly generate your shipping label if you're using Shopify shipping. To add in your different package sizes, go to your Shopify backend and click on settings and then shipping and delivery. Then scroll down the page here to the packages section. You will then see a default sample package setup that you can edit the information for, and you can also add in new packages by clicking the add package link. When you click add package, it then brings up a pop-up window where you can add in your own custom packaging by choosing the package type, entering the size and the weight, and then naming your package type. You can also click on carrier packaging and choose from either USPS or UPS packaging options that are already filled out with all the information for you. Once you're done with your package info, you choose if you want to set it as your default package to calculate shipping rates and then click add package to add it into your packaging options. So again, for our example store, I would want to add in a small box to ship the coffee mug in, a tube to ship the poster in, a bubble mailer for the t-shirt, and then a medium sized box for if someone orders a coffee mug and a t-shirt so that we can ship them together. If someone orders a coffee mug and a poster, they will still have to be shipped separately because the sizing is so very different for them. Once you have your package type set up, you want to make sure you have added in all of your product weights. This is super important to do if you are using carrier calculated shipping or if you are using Shopify shipping labels because it will take the entire weight of the order to generate the price. To edit a product's price, click on products on the left hand menu in the back end of your Shopify store, then click on the product that you want to edit. Once you are on the individual product page, then scroll down to the bottom section of shipping. Make sure that you have the checkbox marked that it is a physical product, and then you will see the option to add in the product's weight. After you've added in the weight, make sure to save your product then. If you have a lot of products to add the weight into all at once, this would get super tedious to go into each individually, so I recommend the bulk editor tool. To bulk edit your product weights, click on the checkbox of all the products you want to edit in the main products area, then choose edit products. You can then add the add fields drop down and choose mm -hmm. weight from the list. And then you can add all the weights in here. You can also add the field require shipping to make sure that the checkboxes are marked for every product. So we'll charge shipping costs. Now that we have it all set up, we need to see how it looks when you add your different products to the cart and go to the checkout area. So you can see in this example that I have both the coffee mug and the t-shirt in the cart, which is $5 flat rate shipping for the mug and $3 flat rate shipping for the t-shirt. So the combined shipping total is $8 that the customer sees. If it is just one product, like just the coffee mug, then you see the shipping update to $5 total. So if there are multiple products that are in different shipping profiles, then it is just going to be combining the two to then show the customer the combined shipping rate. Then when you're actually fulfilling the order, you can choose which package size to create the shipping label for inside of Shopify, and it will charge you the correct shipping amount. 
Once you have your store set up with your shipping rates configured, it is then time to send some traffic to your site so you can start making some sales. Click this video over here to see the best ways to drive free and paid traffic to your store in 2021.